Dandy. Haven't seen you in a little while. It's good to be back. Hello everyone and welcome to my Minecraft survival single player world. In this world, we've made quite a bit of progress from an entire village transformation to some beautiful statues to a nice little home nestled in a grove. And it's been quite a lot of fun so far. It appears that Darlene and Dandy up here are just fine and still loving their life in the grove. The tower is all good and my starter house up there still appears to be all in one piece. Despite the, yep, those guys. Lucy, hello Lucy, how are you doing? I have a mission for us today. You see, this starter house that I'm in currently works great as a little warehouse of sorts, I suppose. I keep all my goods in here. It's sort of like a storage room, to be honest, but it's not much of a bedroom. It's actually, it's kind of a horrible bedroom. It's cold in here, it's drafty. It's, you know, we could be doing better. And also, Dandy's been living with the bees for the last, like, what, eight episodes? I think we finally need a home an actual home that me and Dandy can live in together and take care of this entire world. This could still be our working quarters over here with our storage room and also access to the mines up there, but we'll also have a separate place where we can live in comfort. What do you think, Dandy? You like the idea of that? So the very first thing that I've got to do in order to build a mansion for my pink sheep and I is pick a location. And this grove is filled with quite a lot of good locations for building. I mean, just about everywhere you look, there's a pretty spot. These peonies, very pretty. That peak up there, super pretty. That waterfall right there, very pretty. You get what I'm saying, we've got a lot of options. But actually the main option that I want to go to is right back here. You see, we haven't really done anything in the back half of this actual grove. We haven't explored it much or cleared it out much. It's kind of just gets filled with monsters and stuff, but it's got a lot of flowers and a lot of potential. And I love a meadow, so I think this biome right back here would be the perfect place for mine and Dandy's mansion. That way we can look this way and look at all of the wonderful things we've done. It's nighttime, where's my bed? Why don't I have my bed on me? What is this? See, this is what I mean. I wouldn't need to carry a bed on me if I had a bed in here and also a bed over there in the mansion. Yeah, I'd be way safer. I feel like a mansion in Minecraft is something you should probably think out a bit before attempting. So I've been getting a couple of my ideas together. One of those ideas involves which blocks I actually want to use. We have a pretty cool theme going throughout this world so far, and I'd really like to keep that going. Luckily, I've got a bunch of these pink and white sheep, and I think we can go with sort of a pink and white theme for this. After all, I feel like that'll best match the aesthetic of Dandy. So I need as many pink and white blocks as I can possibly find. This might be a difficult color scheme, not gonna lie. Well, pink wool acquired. I think we'll store this in here for now because we have to go on an adventure. Pink wool is a really great start, but there's more pink blocks that we can have access to if we just go on a little adventure. Hello, chicken. Goodbye, chicken. We're going to need some sand for this, which luckily I can get from this beach. Yep, that's satisfying. That ought to do it. <laughs> it's honestly so cool to be just going around a single player world and randomly see a little hidden castle pop up. That's cute. I like that. That makes me happy. Oh, here we are. The Mesa. Perfect. All I need from here are a couple of stacks of this regular old terracotta. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in the pink variety naturally spawned. That's okay though, I'll make it work. All right, I think that should about do it. Now we just need a couple more ingredients. I'm on the lookout now for some gravel and luckily we've stumbled upon this beach here, which happens to have some. Yeah, don't mind if I do. After I collect up this, this will be all the pink blocks that I need in order to complete this project. Only problem is, well, they're not actually very pink, are they? So we need pink dye, <laughs> quite badly actually, but it's not been an oversight on my part. No, 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 don't worry, I got this. All right, as soon as I get the rest of this gravel. Right, home sweet home, and now for the pink dye. Here is my special trick. These peonies that have been here for a while actually produce quite a lot of pink dye. Perfect, just like so. And then all I need is a crafting table over here, and I can make both pink terracotta and pink concrete powder. This is gonna be epic. All I need is a bunch more bones to farm peonies, which in the last episode, we happened to find something that should help quite a lot with this. 
just need my minecart. Here we are. And off we go. Whoa. <laughs> this is never gonna get old. This is so cool. Here we are back at our little cave spawner here. Look at this. So this is what I use to farm skeletons and also XP. And as you can see, I've already collected a few bone blocks, but if we sit here for a little while longer, I should be able to get some extra bones. Oh, and I can also take some blocks from this. I'll just try to get a few extra bones just in case. I think that should probably be enough bones for me to get to work for now. So let's head back up, shall we? Ah, uh, this will be easy pink dye now. Now, as nice as this pink terracotta is, we are actually going to have to smelt it down to get a better color out of it. I think glazed terracotta would be perfect. So we just need to put in some coal and then pop that in there. Yes, this color is so pretty. It's gonna be perfect. Dandy's gonna love it. Good news, Dandy. The blocks are all together. Mm-hmm. I can see you're very passionate about this. Okay, all right, it's fine, I'll get to work. As you can see, I've pretty much filled my inventory with most of the blocks that we're going to need. I'm thinking we'll use some deep slate for the foundation along with cobble, then some spruce wood, and of course our pink blocks. First though, the concrete does have to be quickly converted into actual concrete and not powder. All right, only order of business now is to actually get to work on this lovely mansion. I'll have to also probably clear out some of this so I can actually get back and forth properly. Gosh, this location is stunning. Okay, let's go ahead and get to work. It's time lapse time, everyone. Let's do it. For my build inspiration today, I'm going to be following a tutorial by Big Tony MC. The link will be down in the description if you'd like to build a mansion in your world too. Well, as far as mansions go, this is a pretty solid one. I have to admit, I really do like the pink roof, especially with the glazed terracotta that we've added in and the concrete. I've also decided to go ahead and use a combination of bone block and also concrete powder and probably regular white concrete for the walls. So I don't really do a white wall all that often in my builds. I tend to go for sandstone. Now though, it's time to start adding in some of those details. This is the general shape that I want, but it needs quite a lot of work. For example, some of those details are going to involve simply some stairs along the foundation. It's also going to involve a nicer doorway. And with any luck, a little bit of texturing down along the bottom here. Yeah, that's looking way better for the foundation already. Okay, that gives me quite a lot of hope for how this is going to come together. Now that the foundation details are a bit better, let's focus a little while on the roof details. The first and arguably easiest detail to put on a roof is just a chimney. <laughs> We're definitely gonna need a couple of these in the mansion. There we go, just like so. And for the edges here, I'm gonna replace the full blocks with some stairs. And a little jut out right there. That should help quite a bit, I think. I have to say, I don't normally go for symmetry in a build, but this has been very satisfying. Let's work on the walls, but first, we're definitely gonna need some white concrete. In solid form, because the powdered form is a little annoying. These sections here are going to have flower boxes. And of course, looking out at every flower box, there shall be a window. I think that's a pretty solid entrance design. It's <laughs> different from anything I've ever done, but I really like the kind of double window that we've got here, and we can even put something up there if we wanted. I spent the next little while slowly picking away at all of the details of this pink mansion, and it was honestly so refreshing to do so. I ended up adding quite a lot of details to the walls, some little flower boxes, and other little details that weren't really included in that tutorial that I referenced. I enjoyed working with the white concrete, which is a block I don't use a lot, however, I will say, Pain in the butt to get, I had to make several trips for sand and gravel, which works well on single player, but it would have been a pain in the butt on an SMP. It's complete. The mansion exterior is complete. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so happy with how this build came out. However, there's still a lot to be done, given that the inside does in fact look like this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, building giant structures like this tends to make for a rough interior, but we can go ahead and clean that up along with the outside here, which is also looking rough. In general though, I'm so happy with how this came out. This will make for a fantastic house for me and Dandy. I think for the inside, I'm going to use a bunch of the dark oak because I've used so much spruce around the like trim, I don't really want to overdo it with the spruce. So 
Let's try and make a nice little entrance in here using some dark oak. I feel like simply cleaning a build up and putting a flooring in can help so much for the inspiration of the interior. Something that I wanna figure out fairly early on into this building process is where exactly the stairs are going to go. And I think these little hallways right here lend themselves quite well to just being staircases, to be honest. Like, what if they were literally just staircases? Always kind of a struggle to figure out how we're gonna get from point A to point B, but I think this could potentially work. So we have a staircase on either side, and then like a little walkway right here so that we could still get into this floor. I feel like that would actually work pretty well. I'm a genius, let's do it. Look at me doing this interior, the floors, the stairs. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Unfortunately, it is raining. <laughs> Luckily though, I have managed to clean up the insides. As you can see, the ceilings are all nice and clean. The stairwells are safe with some railing. I like this middle room here because it's got tons of space up to the ceiling. There's just a room on each side, a room in the middle, and then this bottom entryway room. We have a lot of room for activities in here, and before we can show Dandy, I've got to do the interior. Very important. And first things first, because on this bottom floor, we can actually use concrete powder. I want to make a cute little carpet right at the entryway, right about here. Maybe even a circle one, to be honest. I'm not really sure. Okay, so if we do the edges with powder, and then all we'll do is the interior with some wool. To give it a little bit of depth, we could even add more carpet in spots. Like, so I would have to probably make it make more sense. Yeah. Something like that. That's kind of cool, right? I kind of like it. Just a big fan of having an entryway rug, to be honest. Hello? I was... I was just gonna go to bed. You're taking refuge in my house, too! <laughs> hey, this is kind of cool. These Endermen keep talking about the eye. Do you know anything about the eye? No? Okay. The gold and the eye. Alright, alright, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. For now, I'm gonna go to bed. I think this room here can be my bedroom. And then for the side rooms, we'll have one be dandies and one be just a living space for me. It should be pretty much all that we need. Right, Enderman? I think the Enderman agrees. Oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. I suppose now that I've got my house, I should really look into this whole Enderman thing in the eye. Since the Guardians weren't it, and apparently I wasn't supposed to use the gold to build a giant mine. Eh, my bad. I'll get us more gold. I promise. As for my bed something like this should work so it looks like i've got a little blanket now all i need is like a bed frame for the furniture inside to mix it up i think i'm going to go with some jungle wood because i haven't used that for the floor or the ceiling or the roof or you know anything yet you know looking at it like this it makes me realize i forgot windows i always forget windows in my build i don't know what it is i just <laughs> i'm really bad at remembering to put glass Regardless though, hopefully this makes for a good headboard. Yeah, that's actually kind of cute. And then we'll do like a little bench at the end of the bed. And honestly, that might be all that it needs, but let's try some trap doors too. I should probably make a little crafting area right here. Ooh, I actually really like that. That's perfect. Just to break up the height of the room a little bit, I think I'm also going to add a couple of these supports on either side. That's kind of cute, I think, although there's way too many torches around here. What we really need is a bedside table with a lamp on it. One of my favorite tricks for interior spaces like this is to add a couple of planters, which I'm gonna do with some composters and leaves. These will be really nice in areas like this too. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and it's our first night in our new bed. <laughs> Wait, why does this actually look kind of cool? I actually like that. Okay, now for this room over here, I'm going to try to do a big comfy pink couch right here. Hopefully this will look okay. Honestly, I expected worse. This is kind of cute. And I'll just give it a nice little coffee table. It's time now, everyone, for the finishing touches. So far, I have a little living room across there, a bedroom for myself right here, and in this room over here, I'm going to have a room for Dandy. First of all, we're definitely gonna need windows in every single window. Uh, that was a weird sentence. Glass panes, we need glass panes. 
I also wanted to give Dandy a sort of grass carpeted area, I suppose. Grass and also a little bit of moss. So I'm just gonna put some moss there. And then I brought a little bit of grass for Dandy to be able to eat from. I've also brought some hay. Gonna have a couple of leaves hanging about from the ceiling. And speaking of leaves, we'll definitely have to do a spore blossom in here. That's perfect. I do think Dandy would like some pink carpet for a bed and perhaps some glowberries hanging about. Perfect. The room is complete. All it needs now is Dandy. <laughs> I really hope Dandy likes this mansion. This was quite a lot of work for a pink sheep in Minecraft. Single player. I'm not crazy. You are. Dandy. Dandy? Oh, Dandy. Now, you can still come to the gardens whatever you want, but I've built you a brand new mansion just over there. You're gonna love it, I swear. Come on, down we go. Come on, come on, almost there. Here it is. What do you think? It's huge, right? Yeah. That's a good Minecraft house if I've ever seen one. Uh, it's, it's the other way, Dandy. It's, okay, great. Uh, let's go inside. The doors are hard. Yeah, okay. I get it. It's fine. Here we are, Dandy, inside your brand new mansion. Now, I know, the front entrance is not much, to be honest. I'll work on it. For now, though, let me give you the tour. Right, we come up the stairs this way. Oh, stairs are hard. Okay, great. We come up the stairs this way. We've got a beautiful, comfy couch out here. Nice painting. We've got a lovely bed right here. And now this is the best part. Look, this is your room. You could stay here or you can wander anywhere in the house. It's all for you. I love this little pink sheep. Honestly, this place is almost perfect. It's just missing one thing. And that thing is peonies. It needs some peonies in the gardens. I think we'll do a mixture. 18 peonies and 18 lilacs. A beautiful path up to the front door. And then we'll mix in our lovely gardens. I want to have peonies on each side if I can and some lilacs on each side. That is absolutely lovely as a finishing touch. This mansion is epic. Definitely the best mansion I think I've ever built in Minecraft because I'll be honest, I don't normally build mansions. Normally, instead of going to this like medium build step, normally I skip straight to something very fantastic. I'm very happy with it. I'm just also proud of myself for doing something like this. This is really lovely and I hope that you all like it too. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone!